The place where I'm sitting now used to be a huge glacier. Some 70, 80 years ago, there was a huge big glacier here, and there is evidence for it. There are old aerial pictures showing that. Now the glacier moved away inland, and in the places where they were occupied by glacier, now we have a lagoon. This lagoon is separated from the sea by a narrow spit made of gravel and sand. But uh, most probably during the high tides and stormy weather, water from the sea comes in. Because in the lagoon, we found in deep layers, we found uh, very saline water. We also see here harbor seals. We saw a lot of traces of polar bears and there should be also some fish. We found a uh, fish fry here, uh, most probably arctic char. So this is a very interesting newly born ecosystem. And what we are doing here, we try to understand how, what it is made of and uh, how it is functioning. For this purpose uh, we need to know basic physical environment of the lagoon. Uh, this includes the bathymetry, seabed topography, uh, sediments, uh, also the salinity and based on these physical parameters uh, we try to uh, see uh, the living environment of the lagoon and uh, we do it by uh, underwater video filming and by graph sampling. Results are already quite, let's say, unexpected because at the first glance I was thinking that this lagoon, well, honestly speaking, will be quite boring. It is just layer of the fresh water and maybe some layer of the sea water below. But in reality things turn to be much more interesting. We have several zones which are very different uh, hydrologically. Uh, in the central part we have not one hollow line but two hollow lines. Well, hollow line, if someone do not know, it is place where is a sudden jump in water salinity. Here, actually, we have really strong one. Uh, we have fresh water on the surface with salinity zero. On the bottom, we have salinity 25. It is unbelievable. It is incredible. Overall, I am really happy to be here because this is not only beautiful place, but also extremely interested place from scientific point of view.
here as uh, the biochemist uh, of the group and I will take care of uh, some uh, aspect related to the lagoon and the greenhouse gas emission. Not only greenhouse gas but also nutrient dynamics and some bacterial processes that are involved in the sediment of this lagoon. What I did uh, in these days was to collect uh, sediment cores, it means a small, uh, small portion of the environment in different places of the lagoon. This is uh, a sandy sediment collected from a fresh uh, system, a part of the lagoon in the north. And uh, I mainly work on this stuff, on this uh, course that are a uh, small piece of environment where I can uh, uh, regulate and uh, control some uh, parameters. Uh, in example, I can uh, uh, take under control the uh, temperature and the oxygen in this water column. And uh, from this uh, course, I can uh, measure the flux of greenhouse gases that are the main problem uh, or one of the main uh, uh, parameters that we used to study uh, in relation to the climate change. In the morning, we sit around the campfire, we eat a wonderful breakfast, have a chat. During the day, it's the most challenging part, a lot of work uh, under different and difficult uh, conditions. Uh, wind, rain, uh, cold water, uh, negative temperature of water even. Unfortunately, not all the days were suitable for work. Sometimes, uh, especially when we were walking closer to the glaciers the weather was really miserable sometimes we had simply to cancel our walk because uh, the team was uh, really uh, near to uh, to be freezed Third. To, to do this kind of experiment, this kind of measurement was incredibly difficult uh, because of the climate and because of the condition. <laughs> I don't have a lab, usually I do this stuff in a clean, sterilized lab where everything is in order. Here is a, like a mess, the cold, constantly cold. Uh, yeah, so to woke up in the morning and come here with the wind to check this course is terrible, <laughs> especially without the coffee in the morning. Uh, but uh, yeah, but it's uh, without price. I mean, uh, I prefer 10 times these kind of activities that in the lab, this boring activity in the lab in university. It's better here with the camping, the fire, and uh, yeah, and a good company. It was a good company, a real good team. And back in the camp uh, in the evening, everyone is tired, but they're tired in the good way. Uh, we have uh, plenty of things to, 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 to think about, to talk about, uh, and uh, prepare for the next year, uh, because it's much more complicated than we expected. So uh, it's uh, quite challenging, but we gladly accept this challenge and to, to, to see what exactly this lagoon has to offer for us. Mm -hmm.